but yes, you've got your own stuff going on. And just because somebody knocks on your door doesn't mean you have to answer it. You know, like when your phone rings, you don't have to answer. Wait, okay, what is this face for? <laughs> the shock, this look of shock. <laughs> Amy, there's no way that you would know this that because the episode's not out yet, but um, we recorded a podcast episode last night and I felt the need to over and over. I don't know why I kept coming out of my mouth, but I kept saying like, if someone knocks on your door, you don't have to answer it. <laughs> I said it like four times. And then at the end of the episode, Rima brought up, that is such a good point that like the, the, the door analogy and she kept bringing up the door thing. And you just, oh you just God. said what I had said five times yesterday. And you would have no idea that I said that. I would have oh my no God. idea. These are, these are the guides. This is all channeling in girl. I am loving this. Wow. Um, Welcome to the Spirit and Soul Healing Podcast, where we speak about all things related to spirituality, soul level healing, intuitive guidance, frequencies, and much more. I'm Amy Sikarski, licensed vocational nurse, past life hypnotherapist, master intuitive energy healer, and a clairvoyant physical channel. Today's episode is brought to you in part by Spirit School Online, where we offer courses in energy therapy, free guided meditations, courses and information around learning to connect in with your spirit guides, and much more. You can find me at amysikarski.com and offerings at spiritschoolonline.com. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Spirit and Soul Healing Podcast. I'm Amy Sikarski, and today I have Chelsea with us, and we will be doing an energy therapy healing session for Chelsea today. Welcome, Chelsea. Thank you so much for having me. I'm delighted to be here. I am excited, too. I'm really happy. Oh, I know. good. Mm -hmm. I could feel you all day, actually. It was like, I, I truly felt like I was being pulled into this session and just kind of knowing that I was going to be in it, I started noticing like my mind reframing and that energy in and out really resonates with me because I think that's probably a lot of like the positive leaving and going. Cause I'm like, I have that, you know, free will to choose which one I'd like to embody. And so I was definitely um, starting to let the negative energy kind of leave as I replaced it with positive. So I'm a lot better than I was at 7 a.m. Oh, I love that you share that. I love how you share that. And I love how you were really conscious of what was happening in that experience, because many of us, when we sign up for a session, the shifting can start to take place on that day. Or I do find that I'll start even noticing the night before, sometimes in dreams and sometimes the next morning. Oh, I did have a really vivid dream last night, Amy. So maybe, and I actually woke up from it and it was almost like a, not a nightmare, I wouldn't say, but it was definitely like maybe a nightmare. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I was just like, you know, just in, in, in a weird funk and I woke up and it was one of those dreams where I'm like, okay, I should probably move around to shake that off of me and then try to go to bed again. And I woke up at like 515, which is 515. My mom wakes up at that number, but I don't. So I just thought that was all interesting. I was like, okay, go to bed and we'll see what comes of the day. But interesting that you say it can come before the night of. I wonder if my body was almost preparing me for this. Yeah, probably it happens. It really does. And even myself as a therapist, um, sometimes I will wake up and there'll be a theme or a message. I'm like, what's that? And then it comes through in a session later in the day. So I know that spirit starts working ahead of time. And the um, higher self parts of us, you know, our soul, higher self levels that we might not really be communicating with or have a clear understanding of what's happening. I call it behind the scenes that's already starting to work. So that makes a lot of sense. Yes. <laughs> oh my God, totally. And I was getting beautiful signs because I eventually asked for like a sign that everything was just going to, you know, be okay. Because I think the one thing starseed struggle with a lot is like, I have a big trust, obviously in a higher power, but when you're in like the moments of you have no idea what's about to happen next and you're truly like 
all, you know, power on deck to the universe. Um, I truly feel like, wow, like there's obviously going to be this like human nature of like a little bit of fear. And um, when I was asking for that sign immediately after I saw a 999 on a license plate as I was walking my dog. And then when I looked up from that, I go, whoa. And then when I looked up, the house in front of me was 444. And I was like, okay. But then, you know, I'm like walking, trying to absorb it before I could even absorb what just happened. Another car, 444. (laughs) <laughs> so I just started crying. I was like, oh my God, like it was, it doesn't usually happen that fast. So I, I definitely am, am attesting everything that's happened to me in the last 48 hours to this beautiful space that you're creating. So thank you. Oh, wow. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, you're so welcome. Thank you to spirit. You know, it's more than just <laughs> you and I in front of the so camera. True. Here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're like ants compared to them. (laughs) (laughs) Like, thank you. I needed that. I really did. Oh, wow. So today we'll tune in for you. um, And I'll just let you know what messages initially come through. And then any questions you have, we can review those. And then we flow into the healing portion of the work. Sounds good. I'm excited. Thank you. You're welcome. I am too. So um, let's begin by setting the space. We're just going to start. um, I'm going to regulate the energies around us and the space. So like your energy, my energy, and then the energy around us. So let me go ahead and set the space for a moment here. You can relax and just breathe and center or just breathe and be. Here we go. And I will share for our listeners that when there's extended periods of silence where we're working, I will shorten the audio, maybe put some music so they're aware of what's happening here. The energy is already starting to come in. It looks so pretty. Yeah. My dog just started snoring, so that's perfect timing. I feel his pain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh, we're going to hear that in the recording. It's mm-hmm. all good. The pu- puppy's snoozing away, y'all. <laughs> He's loving it. Aww. Um, So let me share with you the energy of support that's here today. We have Archangel Zagkiel and Raguel, Metatron, Jeremiel, and Sandolphin. I feel like that might be five or so. And they're all working to hold this space. They're showing me you are navigating a lot right now. Like there's a lot going on. So they help you with the um, frequency that they bring that helps to stabilize So you don't feel like you're um, like they show me a shorted wire, like so you don't short circuit. (laughs) They help to coat your energy field with this protective frequency that neutralizes external nonsense that doesn't need to be a part of your day, basically. And Metatron's like, hey, there are certain things that are there. He said that have developed. He's using that word developed. There are certain things that have developed over time where you need to look at it and it's a part of you making a decision and adjustments to be made. Like there's stuff that you actively need to do. Then there's other energies around where you're like, that's not mine. I want no part of it. So even speaking it out and knowing in your mind, powerful, very powerful, but they're helping to put a buffer, like to neutralize the interaction that you might have with that energy of others. Mm, so, I see. I understand. Thank you. Yeah. So they're with you. Um, you can do visualization. Seriously, just take a 30 second moment and breathe and ask them, say, shine your light around me. <laughs> oh, and it will shout that. down. Yeah. I've never used that before. That sounds beautiful. I love that. I'm definitely going to put that in my little pocket. Yeah. Shine your light around me. I feel like I'm going in guys. (laughs) Well, I feel like that's essentially what I said today, paraphrasing that, you know, and they definitely showed up and it was just so quick and immediate. I was like shocked because in those moments, sometimes you don't feel necessarily, um, because sometimes the earth realm just completely, you get swept up in it. Right. Mm -hmm. And, um, that was just such a beautiful grounding moment for me to remember 
So yeah. I definitely feel like that resonates. Yeah, it does. It does. And you're talking about um, the earth realm. And I've got the archangels over here chatting away, <laughs> feel them. And then I'm feeling the star energies coming in. So fellow star seed friend, you work with a lot of frequencies. Um, who I'm hearing and feeling for you a lot. Syrian, Pleiadian, Arcturian, Andromedan. Like they say you're, you are representative for many races because of the platform that you have and those of us that you speak with that have a star seed her heritage they're saying so um so you have a team that's here for you and then they're also here for you so you can support others and there's no like really clear line where it's black and white because they say well, we don't work like that if you need help we're gonna help you so if these are mm -hmm guides that have come in to help you on your platform and working with community. And they say that, you know, you could use a little something in your personal life. They're going to be there to give you a little wink or an idea or a nudge or a hug, you know, in spirit. So you're supported and they're showing me you are walking on a tightrope with like, I don't even know. This is like a circus act. You're on a tightrope. Somehow you're balancing on one foot and then you have where they would ha have a stick with like a plate on top where you're spinning it, you know, oh my God. and then you're doing Literally. it on your head. Like you're like the other your... day I told a friend of mine, I'm like, I feel like I'm doing this where you try to rub <laughs> your belly and tap your head at the same time. <laughs> yes, girl. Yeah. You are just really holding a lot together and there's a lot of moving pieces, but you're doing a good job. And Metatron's like, he shows the image of where you're like looking down at the net beneath you and you're like, could we just like, can I just check out and, and be done with this? Can I just fall on that net and let the plates go wherever and y'all clean it up? And he's like, Hey girl, if you need us, just ask us to take some of those plates <laughs> off of you. So you don't have to be balancing and juggling and, you know, walking so what they're telling me is to not be so dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> the Scorpio in me loves the drama. <laughs> yes. You don't have to just call it quits. Just start to see what's not working and let mm. that be released from your, I do I want to say, I don't know that I want to even say responsibility for some reason you're navigating or you're holding a lot together. You're organizing a lot. And I also see structure. I'm hearing the word structure and I see, and I hear the word schedule where it's like, I see a chart where you put everything in columns, you know, you're really trying to keep it organized and they're like, um, okay. So do you need to take extra time to breathe? Do you need to give yourself more time on your calendar to mm -hmm. work with everything that's on there? And what can you say? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to just do everything else. And then I'll get to this one, you know, cause there's a few things where you're like, I don't know if I can take that on right now. So they want you to think about this. Um, it's so funny. They're like, you're a little star seed and you just want to do it all right now because where you come from, there is no time. There are no limitations to what you can do. You know, we can create and think and immediately there it is. And so in this life, it's like, oh, I got to put the action behind it. I have to make sure others are on board. Are we all synced up with the same, like, are we in the same energy flow? Because it feels like you might have been contemplating if others involved in certain projects, or I'm not sure what you're working here, but there's something that involves others. And sometimes you pause and you're like, are they on board? Cause I don't want to be, you know, the freight train hauling all of this energy and not having like a 50, 50, you know, maybe one day 40, 60. And then later on you get the other yeah. way, right. To balance out. So you've been thinking about all of this is what I'm hearing. And they're saying, yeah, just uh, stay, take a step take a pause, like take a step back, like just take a pause and let it play out. Um, so mm -hmm. you are a high achiever. <laughs> They're saying you've kind of loaded up your plate, your schedule. Yeah. Well, I'm really being perceived, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Full transparency over here. Yeah. But it's, you know, we just learned to, to figure out the best way to navigate with it. So yeah. Uh, yeah. And I, I, I think like I'm my worst critic in a sense. And I learned through therapy that, you know, we develop our inner critic from the people who were critical of us growing up. So I definitely have been working on healing that, but it's definitely whether I like to believe it or not still there. Yeah. 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 
They're just saying, you know, like there's a lot of joy and expansion. There's a lot that you have to offer the world and you feel it all at once. And then you're like, but how am I going to fit all of that in a day, even a week? How am I going to get that in? So you might have to delegate a few things or postpone a few things. So ask for assistance or allow yourself a bit more time. Um, But basically they're saying, don't stress about it. Like any dream, hope and desire that's active in your heart will continue. It will be there. It's alive. And it's just, you know, playing out, waiting for it to play out. So um, we tend to feel like we have to really hold true to all of our dreams and desires and accomplish them like boom right now. And Metatron's like, Hey ladies, um, <laughs> give yourself why, how, don't, like, how about a year? Like, why does it all have to be done right now? Like spread it out is what they're saying. So, and then they're saying, you're not going to want to hear this. Like they're kind of yelling from the background. You're not going to want to hear this, but even for many of us, certain things will be a continuation from lifetime to lifetime to lifetime. Like they're like, you're not, you know, you feel the, um, the significance and all the energy within certain aspects of life mission. And that's why we want to do this and we want to accomplish it. We're like, I'm here for it. Let's go. And then I'm like, yeah, they're like, but did you know it might take five life cycles? And you're like, oh man. So, (laughs) and you'll still feel the significance no matter what. Exactly. Exactly. So they want you to take the little moments and self-care, like put the time throughout the week and the day where you can just breathe, have a coffee, you know, put your foot, like soak your feet in water or on the earth, like connect with nature and elements is what I'm seeing. So, um, I don't know when the last time you went and got a pedicure was, I just see your feet in water, like soaking. I'm doing that tomorrow, Amy. Okay. There you go. And I haven't done it in like, I want to say almost a year. (laughs) (laughs) No big deal though. (laughs) No, I'm just laughing because I was like, why do they show me your feet in water? And it was like a bucket of water. I'm like, really? Where are you going with this? So perfect. There you go. So you got the message. It's already mm-hmm. on your schedule. Woohoo! So whatever you want to do to put in more self-care moments where your body can just relax. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Oh, girl. So we're going to be pulling stuff out of your aura left and right today. Cause I can already see things coming through it. This is like stress, you know, it's just the stress and the weight of the emotion. And then your mind has thought about things. So it's kept it active and kind of tangled it. So it's a combination of mental energy, um, some emotion, but it's more, it's just energy of stress. I don't even have another name for it. You know, it's like, I can feel this project or I feel that conversation and it's weighty. There's a lot to it. Ooh. Yeah. And then you hold it in there. So mm-hmm. we're going to, um, I'm hearing dissect, like take apart the pieces. You don't need a hold and remove it. So in that session or, you know, in the session, in that portion of it as the energy therapist, some of it will be sent to light and healed and released. And some of it is active energy. That's a part of somebody else's like soul contract. I'm hearing karma energy. It's like for them to clean up or to experience. So Mm -hmm. some of it will go back to other people and we'll do it in the most gentle, lightest of ways, but you might feel some people like reach out over the next day or a few days and mm-hmm. kind of want to like revisit that conversation with you because they had relief and now they're going to be feeling they have to take the responsibility back. So just kind of be aware. Maybe I wouldn't be readily available. I like don't respond right away. <laughs> it's your I don't weekend. think I have the time, girl. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like just <laughs> if let if it I be. wanted to. <laughs> yeah. It's like I'm, you know, we, we are considerate of others, but yes, you've got your own stuff going on. And just because somebody knocks on your door doesn't mean you have to answer it. You know, like when your phone rings, you don't have to answer. Wait, okay, what is this face for? <laughs> this shock, this look of shock. <laughs> Amy, there's no way that you would know this that because the episode's not out yet, but um, we recorded a podcast episode last night and I felt the need to over and over. I don't know why I kept coming out of my mouth, but I kept saying like, if someone knocks on your door, you don't have to answer it. <laughs> I said it like four times. And then at the end of the episode, Rima brought up, 
that is such a good point that like the, the, the door analogy and she kept bringing up the door thing and you just you just <laughs> said what I had said five times yesterday and you would have no idea that I said that I would have oh my no God. idea these are these are the guides this is all channeling in girl I am loving this wow <laughs> so oh share my God, for- I feel so connected to you it's yeah. beautiful I love it. Share for the listeners about your podcast real quick. So everybody can be like, wait, what's happening here? Right. Oh, sorry. So, um, I'm, I'm a co-host of a podcast as well. Um, star seeds to stars spelled S T A R of course. And, um, I do that with my sister Riri and we talk about all things, star seeds, spirituality, and ultimately just, you know, personal development and growth and, um, building a community community to truly get through the earth realm, um, as best as we can. Cause I think anyone who experiences, um, whether you be that you're an empath or you feel energy, you know, it can be so sensitive here and feel so lonely at times. Mm -hmm. Um, so truly I feel like that is us being in mission amongst me. Also like with my business, I do, um, health and fitness on the side, which is my, my main baby. So it's divine health and fitness is where I'm truly spending a lot of time and energy, um, helping people heal intuitively through life coaching, but also through nutrition and, and movement. So that's what takes most of my time. But on, you know, Thursdays, we record a podcast episode, but it comes out like it's edited and, and, and uploaded like a week early before it actually comes out. So that's why I'm like, you would never know because <laughs> it's not even out yet <laughs> for like another week. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I just love this spirit. And you know, if anybody's Thank watching you. the video, yeah. I have smi- my cheeks. I know my muscles are just going to be hurting. I've been smiling so much. <laughs> oh my God. Me too, girl. We're so connected. It's crazy. Yeah. The Scorpio's in us. <laughs> I know. I know. It's like, I see you. Yep. We've got this. Yes, exactly. <laughs> totally. <laughs> oh, I love this. So let me see what else they have to share. Okay. So for energy, we're going to be clearing that out. And again, you have an amazing team working with you. Um, they're holding you. They're like holding you. Um, they're saying she's on a platform and we're supporting her. So you are here to reach many and they are supporting you. Uh, let's see what else we're getting. You are so funny. Like I just have to laugh so hard. So a lot of what's been coming up in the collective is past life stuff. And I was looking at your aura and I started to see vision come into focus of past life. And you're like, I'm not dealing with that. I don't have time for that. And you literally push like right through it. And the vision just like smoke dissipates and goes behind you. And I am laughing. I'm like, wait, 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 what? (laughs) What? What? How is this? So I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask. Yeah. Okay. So let me talk to spirit and say, so what just happened there? So one more. Yeah. Clarity. Mm-hmm. Well, you cleared a lot of it already. So this is an example of clearing by action and what we do like as a regular human in our experience, when things come up and we full steam ahead, see it head on and you just healed or neutralized that energy from the past. So in the past, I was seeing like crowds of people coming around you, wanting to pull on you. Like you were wearing a dress and they're like grabbing at your, like they wanted your attention. They wanted your time. And you just put your hands out and you're like, stop. No, I have a place that I'm going. And you just walked right through them. And like a path just opened and you're like, I need to breathe. So you've had many lives and experiences where people look to you for assistance and help. And you're kind of like, okay, y'all, you need to settle down and start taking accountability. I can only do so much. I can be an example. I can share for you the messages. I can talk to you. But at some point, you need to take that knowledge and information and utilize it and start implementing it. So this group that I'm seeing in that past life, it's like, they just kept coming to you. And you said, I've already told you this over and over. We're helping, we're helping, but are you helping yourself? And so in this vision, it was the energy of others coming towards you, like just trying to pull on your energy for help. And you're like, no, I'm done. I already know what my limit is. And I'm Mm -hmm. not here to live the life of a thousand people and carry their karma and weight, Mm -hmm. you know? So 
so yeah, I was just kind of laughing. So I was like, wait a minute, can you just bypass all of your past life? <laughs> and they're like, yeah, that's because that was the, that was the mission. That was the message that you need to stay focused. And it's not that you don't care about people, but it's more like if you don't take care of you and if you can't get to the end goal, which your end goal is to help everyone, um, then, you know, like, why are you, why are you here is how you're feeling. Like I need to stay focused because exactly. yeah, I yeah. feel that so strongly and that makes so much sense. Cause I feel like in this life, I do have that power so much. And I feel it so much more like potent, like it's palpable in a sense, because I have had, I, I've, I've had it kind of um, made to be a term of like, oh, like you're, you cut people off so quickly, or, um, you know, it's, it's can be perceived as selfish at like my early years, but it was really when I, you know, look back in hindsight and still till this day, like it's, I know what I need and I know what I have to do in order to be able to stay focused, like you said, and it's, I can't spread myself too thin when people want me, when I'm not energetically available. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they, um, so people get inspired by you, which is amazing, but it's the, it's, um, the opportunities or the experiences is when they then start to lean too much on you and they don't recognize the strength within themselves. So it's giving their power over to you and placing, that weight on you where it's like, Hey, you, you know, you know how to do this, just do it for me, energetically yeah. speaking. And then you get weighed down. So, um, so yeah, so you better, um, serve yourself and the collective as a whole by staying focused and knowing what, like what you're here for, what topics and niche and the platform that you are on, how that can best support you for your health and well being and reach as many people that you can. And so getting pulled into these one-on-ones or a little community conversations that they're showing me are like a hamster wheel where you feel Mm -hmm. like you're not getting anywhere with it. That's when it's kind of like, okay, I know within me that this is not the best use of my time. And there you go. So today as we're clearing the energy, if there's anything there, around that, I'll let you know, but I feel like you already pushed through it. Um, and that was something that you're experiencing now presently, like this week, that was kind of like a repeat or a parallel to that other life that I saw. And to that, yeah, sometimes it feels more intense and that can be perceived as a negative or a positive, like, if we mm-hmm. have an experience, right. And it's like, Oh, this, why is this so intense? Why does it so, feel so heavy? Why do I feel an amplified responsibility? It can be some of that emotion coming back where your soul is like, Oh, I recognize this. I've been in a similar situation before. So that's where it can feel like, Oh, you know, but then when you work through it or you understand a bit more about it or in times where you're using your strong, your gifts, then it can feel like we could say really intense, but in a positive way. So I feel like you're working through that. So you were able to successfully allocate your time in an appropriate way and put a strong boundary up in that lifetime. And the vision I saw was you like right in the scene of the movie where you made that decision. You're like enough, no more full steam ahead to stay focused. And I feel like that's where you are right now. So the cool part is then your next emotions that you're going to start feeling is more empowerment and that resolve Mm. and that drive come in. And you're like, okay, I can do this. I know the best way forward. I can help a lot of people. And I feel like you might say, I'm going to need a team or I'm going to need to allocate or say to people, Hey, I can help you with this percentage or this portion but not all of it, you know? So you're going to be really discerning in the use of your time moving forward. You have this period of time. So we're recording, um, where, oh yeah, (laughs) tomorrow's the first day of April. This episode won't come out for a few weeks. So probably by the time it airs is when (laughs) this little message will come through, but you, um, you have a period of time from April, especially there's something about April 12th. I'm seeing April. Wow. 
So there's something about that day. And then about like six weeks from now is this important period. You say, wow, do you know what it is? Uh, it's still very sacred to me because I, I, I'm just so fearful of jinxing it, but I am essentially waiting for, um, confirmation of something that could really propel my business forward. And if, and if it would, were to come, it'd it'd be on the 11th or 12th. Okay. Full chills, girl. Yeah. Don't share your, your, you know, special energy and (laughs) what's cultivating, but thank you for confirming that the day is important. Yes. Yeah. So I can feel it. That's important. That's wow. going to be a day for I was you. One, I was wondering if that was going to arise and I actually won't be here. I'll be in the Dominican Republic where I'm going to decompress okay. and, um, you know, be within. So nice. that's Love interesting. It. Yeah. 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 And it's very, um, I'm not tuning into the outcome or anything, you know, like that's your energy there, but the date was what they wanted to share with you is an important date. Wow. Um, so there was something about that. And then it felt like you're going to be going and, and kind of flowing in stages or phases. So from now for six to eight weeks, and it looks like six weeks and then two more weeks, something else will happen. So this is an important time in your life. Absolutely. And you're like, there's a lot going on and I just need to breathe and get it all under control. So today we're going to work to, um, charge up and bounce your chakras, you know, like give you that frequency flow, make sure everything's in alignment so that you can feel really put together and make it through in a, in a way where you feel safe and stable and calm and like your energy is reserved and you're not feeling like you're being pushed around or drained. Like when I say pushed around, it's like energy of others come at you and you have to like, Whoa, dodge Mm -hmm. it. Or you, you know, like you're moving, you're just strong and your aura speaks for yourself. And you're like, I'm not available right now. I love you. I care about you, but there's a lot going on Mm, and I just, I'm not available right now. (laughs) Yeah. Yes. So yes, that's looking really beautiful. And they're just reminding us of divine timing. Cause I was kind of even asking a little bit, it reminded me of something I went through and, and they're like divine timing. So there's divine timing for everything. And, um, if you're meant to have people in your life and you have to take a pause to focus on you, they'll come back around. And if not, then it wasn't meant to be. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm laughing. Cause now they're saying the thing about knocking on the door again. So they just want to bring that home for you. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Well, it's funny. Cause you, um, kept mentioning boundaries and that was the title of the episode. So if anyone wants to listen to this episode again, you can go back to the <laughs> one that we recorded yesterday. <laughs> Yes. It'll be out first part of April. Just find your way through the, (laughs) through the season. I love that. Oh my goodness. It's so beautiful. So, um, today we also have a really pretty emerald green coming to work with you. And then this glowing, it's like a ruby pink color, like a hot pink color coming in to work with you. And both are heart chakra colors and, Um, they both are healing energies. So that will be infusing in your system. It's like when we say, Oh, so depleted, I could use some nutrition or vitamins or something. This is how I see this energy. It's like going to pour right in like, here you go. Let's Mm -hmm. help you out here, girl. So, so that energy will be flowing today. And then we're also going to be working around your mind to calm a lot of the excessive, um, signaling is what I'm hearing. It's like the byproduct of all of your thoughts. It's kind of like your head's on fire or inflamed. Like, Mm -hmm. um, it's like, they show me that after you might get zapped like with electricity that then the body responds. So it's the after effect of all of what you've been thinking, not so much that we're going to be necessarily going in with the intention, like let's clear the extra thoughts. It's more like, what is all of that thinking what has it been doing to your brain and your uh, mind? Yeah. Right. in that way. So for some calming and cooling and a gentle, you know, just bringing peace. And then they're saying that, um, any of the thoughts that are still kind of active out or on the surface of your mind that you need to incorporate, it's just going to settle more into your, into your mind, into the mental body and into your brain. So 
I don't really feel like we're releasing a lot. It's more helping it integrate and calming your nervous system in, in a way. So okay. work with that. Yeah. And then you did have some energy at your throat and your heart from other lives. And maybe in this life, it came up a little bit. It's kind of common to see that I've been noticing that. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. Those areas. Cause it's like our heart is so sacred and we lead with our heart. And then many of us are working with our voice right now and speaking our voice. So there will be things that would come up to clear from the past. So that is, those are just a couple of the past life themes that I see from session to session. And I see that for you as well. And your guides are making, like, I'm just smiling because uh, the visions I see for you, I think it's more of a metaphor, but it's like, you're in a circus again, <laughs> you're just performing and you're busy and you're, you're showing like you're dancing and you're making people smile. But at the same time, it's like, I have to wear this outfit and then have to change into that costume. Now I need to redo my makeup. You know, it's the different roles that you're playing and yeah. it's, and it's for others. I mean, you enjoy it. But the it, would you do all of that in such a way if people weren't there, you'd probably take more time and enjoy <laughs> your work a bit yeah. more. Yeah. It's just feeling, yeah, like you have an audience and you want to present and provide the experience for them. So it's like boom, 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 boom. And so they were just gonna calm some of the energy that is making you stressed out. They're saying, look, you can still successfully achieve it and on the same schedule, but relax, love, like, let's just calm, <laughs> let it go. You know, so we'll be using, um, I feel like a little bit of water energy to calm in and wash stuff away and soothe that, that inflamed fire, uh, that would have you feeling just on high alert. So, and Metatron saying, don't worry, we're not going to dull your senses. You're still going to be like on top of it, but in more of a way where you're in control and you can regulate your system, your nervous system. So, um, <laughs> he knows me well. <laughs> yeah. He's like popped in, wait, hold on now. Don't worry. <laughs> you won't lose your Scorpio intensity. Don't worry. <laughs> no, you won't. It'll just serve you better because you'll be able to regulate it. Um, makes sense. Yeah. Any thoughts or questions or anything specific you want me to tune in for before we start into the energy work? Um, no, not really. I, I, I think ultimately what's really serving me is just like the understanding of my past lives. So if anything like that comes out, I'd love to know, cause that seems to be clicking a ton of gears for me in my head, okay. but otherwise whatever resonates for you. All right. Well, I'll flow into it. We'll see if anything past life comes through. Um, and now I feel like you might've been in a circus in a past life, <laughs> like for real. It's looking like a girl. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I was like laughing. I'm like, Oh, they're showing a circus. So, um, I heard like the ringmaster. I think that's the term, the ringmaster. Well, that's actually, no, I just had um, a message come to me. They're like, remember what you said yesterday? I'm like, what did I say yesterday? And they were like, I said for the first time, I was like, not my circus, not my monkeys. <laughs> I never say that. And I remember being like, why did I say that? I think I heard that on like a TV show. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm feeling like at one point it was your circus. and those were It your was monkeys. my monkey. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. I just keep seeing like all of these people in a circus. So, so interesting. But you know what they're sharing? They're like, that's your strength to like, look at it. Like you were able to organize what could be chaos, right? Mm, yeah. It feels like that's where you're like, I need to organize this chaos right here. Let's get it all aligned. So it's just making me smile. But yes, as I'm working, if anything else comes through that life or other lives, we'll let you know. And then for listeners, um, I'll be shortening the time that we're working and just putting a little music on. And so Chelsea, you can relax. Yeah. And just hey. Hold on to a crystal. Here. Yeah. Grab a crystal. Oh, is that a selenite? This one is a rose quartz. And then I also have a Lemurian that I got from Hawaii. Oh, so beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so beautiful. Okay. My favorite. Mm -hmm. Those are really soothing and loving frequencies. Mm -hmm. 
Oh yeah. So now of course I'm, <laughs> I guess I tuned into the Lemuria and I'm like seeing all of Lemuria now. That's gorgeous. So eh? Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Yes. Okay. So go ahead and relax and we're beginning now. Okay. As a reminder, they're going to start by charging you up coming from root chakra up. So it's almost like you're going to feel the lights of your chakras that were kind of on a dimmer switch, just up really bright. So you'll start to feel that probably right away. Then it looks like you might get a little chill or a menthol sensation because that light is going to push out energy. So then you'll be clearing. Then we'll be bringing um, healing light around your aura close to the body kind of like circling from your head down, coding you with this peaceful frequency. And after that point, I'm going to go in and start moving and working with, they're calling them the distractions and that, oh, I don't even know. I want to call it fuzzy or hazy energy that I see on level one of your aura, working through the mental body as well. And then I'll go up to the mind. So just to give you a heads up, I'm going to be working and I probably won't talk, but you're going to be like, oh yeah, (laughs) there we are. That's what's happening. (laughs) I'm already starting to feel like little tingles. So, okay. Yeah. It's it's started. (laughs) Yes. Okay. Here we are. So I'm I'm working around your neck. You've been holding energy in your throat and like in your, um, in the vertebrae in your neck. So you might feel that if your body wants to move, just let it move. Just take your time. I'm going to share with you a few things. Yeah. (laughs) Like at the end, it was you. um, We moved so much energy. I was like. I felt that, Amy. Like I've gotten Reiki before, but I felt that like that. I've never felt anything so strong. Like you are very strong. Oh, thanks, love. Yeah. Yeah. it was, because, yeah, so it was more than Reiki, how I work. I do other stuff too now. So it was a That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, let's just, yeah, that's why. Um, so at the end, we put you on a cloud and it was mm. like this really pretty white and blue. And then they were like, oh, she needs some aqua. So then it was like this teal aqua tropical come in. So it's all around you now to help you just relax mm. from it. You've been holding so much, seriously. We're just like release after release. Um, Let me try and do this in order of how it came through. (laughs) Hoping I don't forget. So we went back to the circus life. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah. And I heard, I did hear you say, not my, not my circus, not my monkeys. And you were looking at an other circus that needed help. Like, it wasn't going to make it. It wasn't financially doing well. And they were asking you, you know, do you want any of the animals? Like, do you want to take it on? And that was a huge burden for you to make a decision on. Number one, you love, like, like you love animals, but you feel there's such a responsibility to them that it almost had me wondering in this life, how you are with them, because it's like, if you have a pet, you are going to be a hundred percent dedicated to its health and make sure it's groomed as like your baby. Like you take care of it to the level that you're like, I don't know if I can take another one on because it's not just like a pet, you know, it's like a child basically. Yeah. Yes. Well, aside from that being so the frigging case, like I joke about it all the time. Like that is my baby. Like I'm like, he came out of my belly. Like, that's how I feel. Like, I feel like he like is part of me. Um, aside from that though, I'm also vegan Mm -hmm. and 
like the second I was 14 and I saw a slaughterhouse video, I'm sure it maybe triggered some of my past life, but I have never been able to look back. Like it's engraved in me now after seeing just one video that I can't treat animals that way. Yeah. Yeah. It's really strong in your energy. And in that life, you were just like, you know, it reminds me of kind of what we talked about earlier. Like you can only help to the level that you can help to. And you had to make a decision, like how much could you help out? And, and then you were so worried about like the suffering of the other animals. I asked your soul in that moment, I was like, well, what would help you? Like, if you can't save all of them, what would help you? And you said, just if they had like a really quick death, you know, cause that you don't want to see the suffering. And then I got the vision of like an illness coming in and, and the animals crossing over peacefully and quickly. And I don't mm-hmm. really know if that like actually happened, but that was a desire from your soul that you were saying. And so we ought to like watch that play out and you did take some of them. Um, and now that I'm asking some, um, uh, like what was left of the circus that you couldn't help, then they were able to help home them with, um, like separate it and home it with people that weren't part of circuses. So, so it all ended up being well, but in that moment you were really struggling. You're like, can I help them? And they just, you know, they were at the end of being able to be able to financially support their staff and animals. So that was a lot of weight for you. So (laughs) if that ever shows up as a parallel thing, like there's a lot of energy around that, that you went through that. And it was, it was like life or death for some of these animals, you know? So you were in that position where you really had to make the call and see how you could help. So a lot of that energy cleared. There were um, waves and waves of emotion that came through in different scenes. So like, um, like this um, pressure that like, you're freaking out, like, how can I help? You know, what can I do? Mm -hmm. So it was that stress of people or, you know, the animals depending on you and should you, and could you extend more of your energy and resources? And, um, then there was a lot of sadness in there. I mean, really there wasn't happiness because this was heavy. (laughs) There wasn't like, yay, I just, you know, saved like your energy was still really concerned about the ones you couldn't help. And also like, how is this going to affect my crew now? And the animals that we have now and the integration of like, having them meet other animals in the circus. And then partway through as energy was clearing, I heard the um, phrase birds of a feather flock together. And I'm kind of like, I don't know where that came from or why, but uh, they're saying, because it was like, you understood that life and you were going to help the other circus Um, you know, Mm -hmm. you were going to support them. So you're very dedicated for community and for helping others. And that's something that's even shining through now. It's like part of who you are. Um, And again, it's like balancing how much can I help and where's my limits. Then we went um, and I just cleared a lot of energy from within your system. And so for those who want to watch back on YouTube, it will be sped up, but not as much as it is here on the audio, I think I would you say, I feel like we were working for 15, maybe 20 minutes. It just felt like it was a while. It felt, it felt really long. Yeah. Like when I woke, when I came to, I was like looking at the time. Cause I was like, was that 30 minutes to an hour? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Felt like you, I went through a whole journey. You did. And I, I'm trying to remember everything, but that's the ones that stood out. Then it was, I would find energy stuck in places and start clearing and clearing. And you did hold a lot in your vertebrae in your neck. So it was like, I've been having such crazy migraines, Amy. And I actually recently just went and got a like neck massage. And I told her just focus there. Like, I don't want you to touch anywhere else. It was so prominent. And only recently have like today when I was driving, did I um, pay attention to it? And I noticed, oh, it's, it's dissipated. But it, okay. for the last, I want to say two weeks, I've just been feeling it's, I had headaches, but I wasn't even focusing on the headache. I just knew it was from my neck. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You've had a couple of things going on um, there. Like right now you hold a lot of energy of stress. Um, and it was also from, so again, it builds up like you're going through what you're going through in this life, but it's really like the other lifetimes are kind of bleeding over. Like you're feeling it from that life too. So now that we've cleared it, I think it's going to finally create a 
long-term release, like it's gone from those lifetimes. So, um, but also as you were just sharing, you were just sharing your story, they showed me a life where you got hit like from the top of the head and it broke your neck. So, wow. yeah, so it could be some of that still came out or what have you, you know? So mm. it's really funny how our physical body can talk to us, especially, well, I guess if it's chronic or if it comes out of nowhere and you're like, why, what is happening here? I've seen time after time, even with myself, like, oh, that was from a past life. And then we clear the energy in your physical body. You're like, whoa, you know, I can't say for every case, but there's been many instances. So hopefully this is really going to help you with your migraines. We did do a lot of work and I'm glad you shared the migraines because people watching back will see, and you'll get to watch too. My hands were moving really, really quickly. So that's where it's like beyond Reiki. Um, And I go in and I'm just, there's so much that's happening there, but I was working with your brain, the neurosynapsis, the energy around. I could feel like the, I felt like tingling and I kind of, when I had first initially closed my eyes, I saw red. I didn't know why, but then it turned to yellow. And then I realized it was showing me that you were going up from my chakras. And then I could feel when you were at the like my my crown. I could totally feel that you were hanging out up there. Yeah, we were there for a while. <laughs> Fair <laughs> so enough. Good. Yeah. But it's so perfect. You needed it. I love that you can see the colors go through. Yeah, I was like turning them on, doom, doom, doom. And um, it just went like your body was very receptive. So oh, I love when the clairvoyance comes through and you get to have that side of the experience too. <laughs> oh, I was honed in. I couldn't leave. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Um, what else? Oh, we, oh, this was fascinating. The energy that was on the back of you, um, it really helped expand and pull that off. And what I got is some of it was past life. Now they're calling it insecurities. Some of it was past life insecurities, but the vision I saw was past life where people would push you forward before you were ready. It was like, go, go, go. Come on. You got it. Why are you, why are you taking so long? Why are you hesitating? You know? And for whatever reason, you were like, I'm not ready. Like, I don't, I, it feels like it would be adults that would want to like speed you along on your, your maturity, you know? So like, maybe you're in second grade and they're expecting you to be like you're in fifth grade or something, but it just, so that was from the past. It could be this life and past lives. But what we did is we released that energy off of you with some pretty firm boundaries set, like back up, you know, I'm going to do things my way in my own time. So a part of the subconscious and the energy that you might have been feeling this week is knowing there was so much on your plate, so much you wanted to do, but then you get that vibration where you're remembering where you were being pushed and forced to do things quicker or in a shorter amount Mm -hmm. of time. And so it built up at your heart where it turned like, to me, I would call it kind of like a panic where like, oh my gosh, I can't breathe. Cause it's just like building and building. And so we did, we released that and went through your whole system to help release and clear things that, that I was seeing. And then at one point, um, my hands came together and I was just holding them for the longest time. And we filled up this energy near your heart with this creamy, like a white calcite color. It was so pretty. And it was mm-hmm. just for peace, like straight peace. <laughs> Charge oh. you up. It was like a little egg of peace and stability. And then your whole body started to relax when you're, and so this is concentrated. So it's still going to be there for you to continue to absorb. Um, so we did that. Oh, and then what was cool was like at the end too, did a lot of work with your physical eyes. So there's a lot of energy there. I don't have all the details. I think it's more than just today or this life, but we just did a lot of work here to help it release pain. I'm hearing really suffering. So it must've been past life. So energy where like you saw something traumatizing and you couldn't get out of your head or you maybe physically were injured around your eye. Um, But we worked there also. And then let me think what else. I can't recall many more like specific details, but there was a lot (laughs) and it was a lot kind of happening at once. So if you're going to feel anything, oh yeah, you might feel the emotions come up at the end. 
right before we, you went on the cloud and then the aqua blue came in that like the aqua teal, we, um, I saw the sand cause I was like, oh, she just needs to relax. And it was this brown copper sparkle, but it's more like copper, um, brown and copper with little bits of yellow. It wasn't so much like gold sand that I was seeing where the sun was hitting it and it was wet and that energy came in. So to support you. Yeah. So it'd be like a form of a grounding frequency. Um, yeah. and, and also let me see. Well, they're just saying, Amy, think about in the physical world, copper is a conductor. I'm gonna have to check this out because I'm like, I'm not an electrician, <laughs> but they're oh my God. about <laughs> My boyfriend's an electrician. So it's funny. You said that. Oh, that's so funny. We'll ask him to verify for us. So <laughs> <laughs> my guides are like, really Amy? Cause you know, they're telling me this info, but it's the way that the copper helps to, um, they're just being funny. They're like, you can trust us, but, but I'm also for real. Let's see what he says, but it's a way that the copper goes through. And so it's going to help you that frequency around you is going to help for they're saying smooth sailing of information and thoughts so that you don't feel bogged down. Cause what happens is some things can get disconnected and kind of glitchy. And then this energy forms around it that feels fuzzy. So that's what we helped to smooth and soothe out today. So, um, yeah. Okay. How are you feeling? <laughs> Oh my God, I'm feeling so good because I feel like there's just so many synchronicities. Like there's so many things that you're even saying that I didn't even touch on that is just like, yep, that happened a couple of days ago or that resonates or, you know, I've been thinking about that. So that's a connection to a thought that I just had, you know, recently. So it's like literally this entire thing is a synchronicity. If, if, if I think you're someone who pays attention to your thoughts or like, you know, is aware of like signs and whatnot, I think a session like this could go such a long way. Cause it's just like, like you said, like, it's almost as if my body was attuning me to the session before it even happened. And even just as you were, you know, doing the energy healing, like I just really laid the intention to just be, and then my body kind of turned on with you. It felt like, it felt like we were in, we were almost like you were the con conductor, but I was with you in that. Yeah. And my body was like responding with you. And I was able to kind of see and feel what was happening. Whereas I've never had that experience with any energy healing before where I felt, um, involved, you know? Yeah. Oh, I love that. Yeah, for sure. Um, well, there were so many parts of your multi-dimensional self involved, um, with, cause we were working through timelines too, you know, yeah. so other lifetimes. Um, so that does make a lot of sense as well. And yeah, girl, you were just ready. <laughs> You're here for it. You're ready for it. I appreciate that. You have no idea how much I've needed that reassurance. It goes yeah. a long way. Yeah, you're welcome. And um, I think this is really going to help you to relax, expand, slow down a little, breathe. Don't feel like you're having to rush to the finish line. Like yeah. I understand what you have on your schedule is going to be there, but overall, and maybe start incre um, increasing time in your schedule, like maybe put a couple hours in each week where you can just have that as, you know, leeway for if you want to relax or if you're feeling good, then you can work on something, but just a little bit of an open space for you in your schedule would be yeah. nice. I'm being called to share this. They're, they're like, just share it, just share it. I'm like, okay, I'll just let it keep going. But um, it's interesting because when we were going through the energy healing, um, there was a word that kept popping up because I was trying to visualize myself being very um, relaxed and having that kind of self-care. And I kept hearing the word lazy. And I was like, mm -hmm. oh, I think they're trying to show me that sometimes when I do that, um, I feel like self-critical that I'm not doing enough because I feel the sense of pressure. And I'm also hearing that the sense of pressure, sometimes my schedule may not be as intense as it actually is, but I put more intensity towards it because of the pressure that I feel to get to this finish line, wherever it may be. Um, and in a sense, when you brought up, like, again, the past lives are really helping to kind of connect dots for me. Like when you're saying I've been feeling pushed, like I definitely, um, in my younger life here and in, in, in this current one have felt that push, like, 
you know, you need to be doing, 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 because I was the one who, um, I was put the pressure on it at a young age to be the one who, who held that power. And I was mm-hmm. kind of put on that pedestal, like you're the one that holds the power. So you must be the one that does everything at all times, like a kind of energizer bunny is yeah. what I saw. And so what's so interesting is that when you said something at your back, the first thing I saw was my tattoo on the back of my neck. And I have the eye of Oris, which I felt called to get. And I didn't know why till afterwards I've been pr- protecting no one to push me uh-huh. almost like to stop pushing me. And so that when I want to relax, like I need to let go of this thought from a past life, even that like, you know, I'm not doing enough. If anything, that rest, what I, what I was feeling and hearing is that that rest actually allows me to do more. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so, Mm -hmm. I got the chills too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And that's like, when we use the word programming, that describes it completely because it can come from within ourselves. Like we get on board and we just start training ourselves that that's how we're going to be. And this is how we do this. And it can also come from our parents and those that raise us and, you know, society and then also the past life. So yeah. it becomes this process of unraveling it and pulling out the pieces that don't belong. So they're reminding we did that today. Like we pulled out a lot of the energies. Remember at the beginning, we're talking about like the weight of the world and the other stuff you're carrying from other people would just have amplified into the pressure for you to do this and do, 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 and you can't relax and everybody's depending mm-hmm. on you. And it's like, mm-hmm. mm, you can actually like be really efficient and even more in your power when you take that time for yourself. And absolutely. The, yeah. The word lazy. I don't, yeah, we don't need that in our language. <laughs> That's what they were telling me. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay, noted. It's like a swear word to them. It felt like I was like, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I would, I would just rephrase it with taking self-care. You're recharging, you're being mm-hmm. present in the moment without distraction. And you know, that helps to soothe the chakras, like the crown chakra, the sound for it is silence. And I love silence. I could go, I could go probably four days without hearing like just silence, oh, you know, same. <laughs> I, if I could just work in silence, I would be absolutely overjoyed, but like I was, you know, explaining on the podcast the other day that, you know, I identify as an introvert to the degree that like um, introverts essentially are at peace if they have to do the least amount of talking as possible in a day. <laughs> so if I can hear the max amount of silence that I could hear and, um, speak to, you know, the lowest degree that I would have to, to like get through a day, I'm happy. But if that's kind of pushed past my capacity, then I feel overworked in a sense, or like I have to recharge. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Mm-hmm. So there's nothing lazy about it. This is a designed help, like healthy self-care moment that you need for mind, body, yeah. spirit, and soul. So kind of just, I think reframing that's going to even help. They're saying it will release any semblance of guilt that might have mm. come through otherwise. Yes. Yes. I think that's the biggest message that I'm getting from this entire session. And it's a big message like probably the biggest one that is of my life to to be, you know, true. (laughs) I love it. Oh my goodness. Well, thank you so much. And I'll be looking forward to uh, tuning into that podcast that's coming out next week. (laughs) Just to hear everything that you already said. (laughs) That's how great you are. (laughs) Oh, it's just so fun. Yeah. Beautiful. No. And thank you for sharing your time and your experience with our listeners. Oh my God. Likewise. I'm so grateful um, to be here to share this space with you. Like I have heard such great things. And of course, like listen to your podcast all the time. It's my favorite thing to do when I'm like in nature or, you know, cleaning the house. I feel like it kind of ties in together with like cleanliness and then like, you know, meditation in, in, in nature. And I always learn something truly like something that I just didn't know before. And I noticed myself coming back to it in my head. Like it's becomes ingrained, like almost a part of me. So, so thank you for being of service. And my hope and wish for you is that you feel like fulfilled to the highest degree, to the highest order that you possibly could feel. I feel like I want to send that to you. So thank you. Oh my goodness. 
Thank you. I feel that. Oh, yeah. so much love, girl. <laughs> Likewise. Thank you for your blessings. I have mm, so much gratitude. Mm-hmm. So I'm sending you a big hug, much like love and support. And I feel like there's a lot around you to help you through these next few weeks so you can feel stable and not frantic. Like just let it all go and allow yourself to experience this new reality. What does it mean to not be constantly like wound up, you know, and pushed and dodging. I'm going to say like dodging all the energy of others that are coming your way. So that this is going to really help you. Thank you so much. You're an angel. Thank you. You are as well, love. Thank you very much for being here. And thank you for our listeners for tuning in. And we will see all of you again on the next episode of the Spirit and Soul Healing Podcast.